Welcome to Antibiotics Part 1, ABX1. Background material are up here. Pregnant patients can use penicillins and cephalosporins and macrolides, eh, but some of the other ones are not good. Get to know these very well here. Penicillins, the amoxicillin, 2 grams before a dental procedure to avoid bacterial endocarditis. Dicloxacillin orally and its uh, partner is oxacillin in the hospital IV. These are for penicillin ACE producing staff. These are the ones that that they are immune to regular penicillins, but they can be used, and so this would be for methicillin sensitive bacteria. Methicillin resistant would not be this would not be used. You'd have to use vancomycin or something else. Augmentin, the story is right there, the Unisim and the Zosin, Piptaz, get to know them well. Cephalosporins, first generation more gram positive, second generation more gram negative, and as you go further down the generations, there's more gram negatives. Keflex was the first one, it's still widely used, safe for pregnant patients. Remember, second generations, a little bit more of the gram uh, negative um, coverage. Uh, Rocephin is the, probably the most widely used one in hospitals and doctor's offices. A long half-life, once a day dosing, but remember the sludge in the bile. That is very important. And here's cefepime, which is the fourth generation, including sodomanus, and there's even now a fifth one out there. Carbapenems are very powerful. They're penicillin-like, and in extremely high doses IV have caused uh, seizures broad spectrum, but they're saved la for last ditch after everything else maybe has failed. Ace trianam, remember this is the one that is a monobactam and you can get, and it's gram negative only. Vancomycin, totally different. You can give this to, to a penicillin allergic patients and it's mostly for gram positive bugs, but be careful of uh, the kidney damage and the hearing damage. Cubicin, totally different mechanism, is for patients who have infections resistant to vanco and Zyvox is sometimes used too. Aminoglycosides mostly IV in the hospital uh, some uh, the neomycin is used topically on triple antibiotic you get to know their adverse effects and their um, their names and here we have the macrolides macro zithro by accident are the most common ones dental prophylaxis doses here. Now these can be used for pregnant patients. So these are your macrolides. <coughs> and um, clindamycin is one that's not the same family, but it works in a very similar um, site in the bacterial ribosome. But the trouble is it kills so many good bacteria, it causes some serious diarrhea here. Remember the cli you know, clindamycin, clindamycin diarrhea. Um, tetracyclines, not for pregnant patients. Remember the tetracyclines and the Cipro, the fluoroquinolones are not for pregnant patients because of various types of tendon damage with the fluoroquinolones and here bone damage. Doxycycline, widely used. Rocky Mountain spotted fever, very, very important in various parts of the country. Minocycline, fat soluble. Remember minnow, minnow is the little fish going around and around so minocycline and uh, it's it's good to, it gets into the brain and it can give you some dizziness but it's good for acne the usual acne w with the pustules demeclocycline is used for something totally different SAIDH digocycline is related to minnow and here's your Cipro family Cipro is the first second generation but it's it's it, it has a lot of gram negative and it is very active against pseudomonas and it is widely used for uh, renal uh, for ur urinary tract infections. But this is not as powerful and it really doesn't have as much function as the Leviquin for lung disorders. So for Legionella and various um, upper respiratory Leviquin, for the renal, it's Cipro. Avalox is sometimes used for elderly people who um, may be renally um, impaired because this is more hepatic metabolism. And then here we have our back to our sulfur drugs with its story. Remember, no cardia, no cards, and sulfur, no card sulfur. 
in the, in the HIV community, you will be using this. And it also is used for PCP prophylaxis, meaning you take this every day, and it actually is supposed to prophylax or prevent PCP from infecting an HIV st uh, patient. Very important. But it can cause skin problems. Dapsone, leprosy, rare, but also for der dermatitis hepatiformis. And for other times when you may want to use a sulfur drug, and sometimes some doctors will use dapsone, even though it is a sulfonamide, but it's slightly different structure than the sulfamethoxazole in Bactrim. Flagyl, very important. Anaerobes, trichomotis protozoa. And here's your D C. diff, C. diff, pseudomembranous colitis. So people who have uh, antibiotics and they get some diarrhea, Flagyl should be the first one to try. If not, then you're going to have to use oral vancomycin. And rifampin for tuberculosis and other bugs. And it's an inducer of hepatic metabolism. <coughs> Isoniazid, INH, TB, got to give vitamin B6. <coughs> Here are all of your fungus killers, terbinafine, toenails, diconazole, toenails, and other parts of the body. Diflucan for thrush in the mouth as well as vaginal. VFAND only for aspergillosis. Every one of these are important. Griseofulvin for tinea or the athlete's foot. You swallow the pills and it kills it from the inside. Nystatin only for thrush. And here are your herpes killers, Zovirex, Valtrex, Fambir. These are all similar products, but they all have one thing in common. Herpes simplex type 1 and type 2. Whereas their cousins, the gancyclovir and valgancyclovir work the same way. They, they, they give faulty uh, building blocks to the virus DNA, and it kills. It's very active against cytomegalovirus. Get to know them well. So in just a few minutes, you have your snippet. Lots of luck. So you may remember your, uh, which ones you can take in pregnancy, which ones you can't take in pregnancy, which ones uh, can cause various uh, adverse effects, which are effective against effective against various um, adverse uh, against certain bugs and I think we've covered just about everything so lots of luck see ya <laughs>